kita in chapter 4 eh. Uh, with the title breaking of DC breaking of DC motor. Okay, breaking of DC motor. Yeah, you know what is the meaning of the breaking of DC motor? Yeah. Boleh siapa-siapa bagi tahu apa ke What is the meaning of breaking of the DC motor? Hmm? Atika Azri Azri Okay, definition of the breaking What is the definition of the breaking? Itu You want, if you want, want to slow ha, Apa dia maksud dia? What is the definition of the breaking? You want to slow or lower the speed of the motor, kan? You want to slow or lower the speed of the motor. Motor. Oh. Okay. Braking ni, this is a set of operating condition for the electric drive system. Yeah? Uh, this is a set of operating condition for electric drive system. And... Um, We know that the purpose of the braking includes the following the following items. Yeah? The first one is rapid stopping of the motor. Yeah? Pemberhentian serta-merta bagi uh, yang kerap. Eh? Pemberhentian yang kerap bagi sebuah motor. The second one is holding the motor shaft to a specific position. Yeah? You want to hold the motor shaft to the specific position. Uh, if you want to make uh, it at the position at the angle 60. So, you have to make sure that the angle with exactly 60 degree, 60.000 uh, for the arm of the robot. Okay, you like that. Okay. And then the second one. Uh, the third one is maintaining the speed to a desired value. Yeah, we want the speed uh, maintain, the speed to maintain. And then the fourth one is preventing the motor from over speeding. Yeah, this there are four uh, purpose of the braking, electric braking. Yeah, history of the braking. We know that in the past. People use mechanical system to break the vehicle, the component or something. Uh, the, the what? Everything lah. And, and then, now, we don't want to use mechanical system for our car, our vehicle, but we use hybrid system. And we know that luxury car makers have been experimenting, experimenting with it. Okay, this is uh, one of the example of the luxury car makers, which is uh, the Toyota brand. Toyota brand also make the luxury car, luxury car like Lexus brand for years now. Okay, and now we can see also at the screen Alfa Romeo, yeah? luxury car like Alfa Romeo is the brand of Guilla, Guilla, yeah, uh, Guilla and Stelvio is the luxury car makers, yeah, Toyota, Alfa Romeo, and so on. Now we can, we run the motor, we run the car with the electronic stability control and also anti-lock braking system. Uh, traditionally, we use it a part, a uh, separate part, yeah? but now we combine it all together to increase uh, the, to make it uh, less complexity and also the weight of the car will be decreased. Yeah? So, the car jadi ringan dan we can delibate laju. Yeah? 
Okay, this one is Alfa Romeo Telvio. Yeah. This is also the luxury car. Okay, I want to repeat again about the luxury apa ni, about the function of the braking. Okay, the function of the braking you can see from from the screen. Okay, repeat stopping, holding, maintaining and preventing. Rapid stopping of the electric motor. Okay, this is, uh, there are two types of a leaf here, yeah. In the screen, at the screen. Uh, okay, if you have uh, money, uh, more money, you can uh, put it in your house. Okay, with the leaf. Okay, but sometimes, we use the the leaf <coughs> uh, not at home eh? now eh? now we can see when we go to the bigger eh? or taller of the building uh, we use a leaf to to going up or down yeah to move up or down Okay, the second one is uh, an electric train. Yeah? Before we go any further, I want to give you the, the background, the background of the electric train. This is a locomotive. Locomotive can be in front of the train. Uh, okay, locomotive is the brain of the train. Maybe it is located uh, in front of the, of the train. Or maybe at the back of the train. Yeah? The train, no tail. You know? And then, but this locomotive uh, have the function because it is uh, convert, yeah? convert the, the electricity uh, that we get from overhead contact wire to the pentagraph and then uh, convert it to the uh, electric current which is uh, convenient yeah, for your for your motors this is which is suitable for your motors okay this is a pentagraph that we get the the power from the supply overhead contact wire to Ya, kat atas tu. Now, there is a northern uh, KTM commuter from in the northern area. Ya, northern area in Malaysia. Also using uh, use rapid stopping of the electric motor because uh, it has to to what? To stop at every at every station that uh, the passenger want to uh, passenger ada yang nak masuk ada yang nak keluar kan uh, jadi uh, the electric train has to stop also we have KTM ETS in Malaysia yeah? uh, rapid stopping also but I want to give you the the what the second the type of the train this train is not uh, applied in Malaysia, but in the developed countries such as in Japan, in France, and so on, in Europe, lah, yeah? this maglev train is very popular. Maglev train stands for magnetic and levitation because uh, it uses the concept of magnetic and levitation. Yeah? Uh, where the the train use the concept of superconductor and that your train will float yeah will float uh will float from the railway yeah that means it's like a aeroplane an aeroplane yeah and the second one is holding the motor shaft to a specific position yeah a specific position Position such as if we can see at 
in the uh, in the screen ya yeah? in the screen that the robot the robot is hold their position in a certain 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 what certain position lah kan uh, every robot has their certain position hmm. uh, what we can use to make the motor shaft hold at a specific position is a servo motor because servo motor use feedback to mean to determine the position of the shaft that we can control that position very precisely Ya, dengan begitu tepat Sebuah motors are used to control the position of object Rotate object Move leg, arm and hands of robot Move, sens move sensors And etc. with high precision And number 3 we want to uh, Maintain the speed To a desired value Okay, you want to maintain the speed, like, okay, think carefully, yeah, think carefully when the load is increased, what happened to the speed of your motor, what happened to the speed of your motor, uh, honey, Hanif, ada Hanif, Muhammad Hanif? Ya, yeah, ada, ada. Ah, don't you know when the load increase, what happen to your speed? Tengok kat uh, atas decrease. kan, when the load increase, speed? Decrease, hmm. kan? Ah, uh, but we need to increase again the speed. Because we want to maintain the speed. We want to maintain the speed. Maybe, ah, uh, at the highway, you want to maintain uh, to 110 kilometer per hour. Huh? That means when you bring more passenger, that the load increase and you have to, uh, to increase your speed by apa? tekan minyak lah kan? Nah, tekan minyak. Tapi, uh, ni kita nak tengok konsep Breaking of electric motor. And when the speed is lower, uh, when the load is lower, what happens to the speed? Your speed will increase. But that time you will use the braking of electric motor to, to lower your speed. Yeah? To make your speed lower. Yeah? Okay, this is uh, the the example how you should maintain your speed. Maybe you are at, uh, you are climbing the hill. Yeah, that means your load increase. You have to increase the speed. Yeah, you have to increase the speed. But when you going down, what happen? Yeah, what happen? Are you Mardiana? When your load, now when you're going down, your load, load decrease because your gra the gravity is support your your speed, yeah. And then your speed will be increase, 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 increase. How can you decrease your speed? Alif, Mama Alif, ah, huh? ada, Mama Shafiq. <laughs> ha? Ya apa lain slow kan? Lain slow lah Okay, when you are going down So tahu kan, gravity kan Dia ada gravity, tapi gravity tu sebut Menyokong, ya yeah? Support your your car To going down, to go down And then what happen? You have to, to what? You have to To break, ya yeah? You have to break to avoid from accident, to avoid your car from 
accident kan and the fourth one uh, why we use the braking of electric motor is to preventing the motor from over speeding yeah? because the motor it has the specific rating value yeah? rate value uh, that uh, must that have been what the company yeah? the, 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 the company that manufactured the motor uh, have set the motor to operate only in certain limit in certain limit like um, uh, in the lab yeah in the lab uh, we have zero to two thousand rpm yeah uh, some set, uh, certain motor DC motor in the lab yeah we have zero to two thousand and five hundred uh, rpm rotation per minute Okay, what happen if uh, if speeding? What happen? Yeah, it's dangerous. Yeah, dangerous. You, uh, your motor will ah, uh, ni apa dia ni? Jadi apa tu rosak? Ah, eh? uh, terbakar ke apa kan? Jadi ah, uh, try avoid from uh, your motor from over speeding. Okay, breaking the motor. The complete operational cycle. Complete operational cycle of an electric drive system is highly dependent on which braking method is used. Yeah? And we know that the quickness and accuracy of braking technique Okay, often determine the productivity and quality of the manufactured good. Okay, for example, if you want to the robot to, uh, in the assembly line, eh, the arm of the robot to stop, to hold position or revert its position with a high degree of accuracy, eh, you need to use the braking system. Yeah? Because the quickness and accuracy of the system uh, will determine the productivity and the quality. Yeah? Okay, the breaking of electric motor, for example, we have a robot yeah? in these industries. Yeah? These industries where uh, this is an automobile manufacturing. Yeah? We use so many robots here. Can? to stop, hold position, and reverse motor, motion. The second one is, okay, this one is, uh, we can see from at the screen that there are three robots, yeah, uh, doing their task, yeah. And the three of the robot uh, is, don't you uh, imagine that the three of the robot Oh, okay, the three of the robot are, are replacing human work, yeah? That means, uh, what do you think about your job in the future, yeah? Uh, now, three of the human are replacing with the, with the robot, yeah? Uh, you have to make sure that the robot not... Uh, Make you fired, yeah. And the third one is also the robot. If we in the the robot, the arm of the robot wind wind the wire or cable in the industries, yeah. Okay, the servo motors also used to control the rotation, yeah, the rotation of the arm of their arm. There are many rotation here from the beginning and until at the what to say. Uh, there are many rotation that you have to make. <coughs> and what we know is braking are done electrically. Yeah? Braking are done electrically without any need for mechanical brakes. 
this one. You are proud to be an electrical field. Yeah, an electric field. Okay, brief session. Question number one. Question number one. State four operating condition. Yeah, state of four operating condition. Okay, Yasmin, what is your what is four operating condition for braking? Yasmin? Yep, I what is uh four please state four operating conditions for braking uh, system? Number one, repeat stopping of electric motor. Number two mm -hmm. is holding the motor shaft to a specific position. Number three, maintaining the speed to a desired value. And the last one will be preventing the motor from over speeding. Yeah, good. Yeah. Just still remember. Okay, just for fun, I want to, uh, to show you the picture. And you think it by yourself, yeah? Okay, will robot replace the human? Who want to answer? Muaz? Muaz? Will robot yeah, replace what? human work? Will robot replace human work? Boleh, boleh. Oh, tu tak nampak kat screen. Huh? Huh? Muaz? Boleh, boleh. Uh, will robot replace human work? Human task? Okay, boleh? Okay. And then, uh, what can we do <laughs> if uh, the robot replace your work? You want to kill the robot? <laughs> <laughs> you want to what? Hack the robot? To buat kerja? Ah, yelah. Tapi dia menghalang awak daripada makan gaji. Kan? Uh, nanti awak tak dapat kerja pula. Kan? Okay. And the second one, can robot be our friend? Huh? Muaz, can robot be our friend? Uh, no. No. Apa oh, salahnya kan? Kadang-kadang uh, kita pun penakut. Why don't we use, we, we buy a robot, kan? For industry. And then, place at your home kan jadi bila hari yang takut kan when you watch a horror drama horror 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 movies you can use the robot to accompany you when you want to sleep kan you cannot sleep alone and please uh, like the ghost come in, uh, to uh, to be with you kan <laughs> okay, the, uh, and the third one, can robot uh, in love with human? Yeah, can robot in love with human? Huh? Can, 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 can. Can. <laughs> no lah, the robot no not have the feeling like, like human kan but memanglah kita tengok kadang-kadang tu orang tu cukup ambil kan <coughs> ambil apa tu beli ya beli ke kan uh, robot ni nak buat jadi pasangan hidup sebab dia kata dia kata manusia tak setia kan uh, jadi kalau nak kahwin pun sekali Uh, isteri curang ke, suami curang ke kan, pasangan curang berkata lebih baik berkahwin dengan robot je tak. <laughs> Tapi uh, tu hanya satu andaian. Tapi memang berlaku, it's happen in uh, Japan eh. They now um, uh, book a robot to be their partner. Yeah? They stay at home. But uh, in Islam, I think As a Muslim, uh, you should marry. <laughs> And uh, I think this is the last one. Oh, no, no, no. We have another 
We robot be our BFF, best friend forever. We robot be our our best friend forever, BFF. Uh, you want? No. no. Uh, I also don't want. <laughs> Let you also, yeah. Uh, tengok tu robot tu cantik, boleh pandang ni, lelaki ni handsome pula tu kan. Uh, okay. Tapi, okay, when I become older, or uh, your, your mother or father become older, or yourself, yeah, yourself also will become older. Can the robot be our guardian? Huh? In case, I mean, Atika, Atika, can robot be our guardian or um, uh, your father? Your father now, uh, maybe 10 years later, your father... Uh, is alone at home. Maybe your mother already died, kan? Alhamdulillah lah. But what happened to your father, kan? Nobody at your home. You can't uh, spend the money for the guardian. So why not you buy a robot? Then the robot will uh, will uh, dia akan jaga lah ayah kamu tu kat rumah, kan? Uh, jadi senang lah itu. Nah, Atika, are you here? Atika? You are uh, here? Line just slow pun. Ha? Line just slow. Again? Line slow uh, Line slow. Uh, slow. Okay, okay, okay. And can robot be our enemy? Like uh, many movies. Yes. Kan? yes. X-Men lah. Apa ni? X-Men lah. We are creating, we create the robot. So we have control the robot. No need for you to make them be our enemy. Yeah? We, kita yang mencipta dia. Why not we make them obey to us? Loyal to us. Yeah? Ha, kita kena buat satu program supaya robot tu sebenarnya dia setia dengan kita. Bukan sebagai musuh. Kita yang buat program kat dia. Kenapa kita nak buat dia sebagai musuh kan? Ha, kita yang rekod dia. Tapi tak tahulah kalau kemudian hari kan. Na'udzubillah. Kan? The robot can't be your enemy. Okay. Okay. Now the type of electric braking, yeah. The type of electric braking. Semua orang nampak slide, eh? Everybody can see the slide. Okay. Nampak, nampak. Nah, okay. Okay, there are three types of electric braking here. The first one is gener regenerative braking. The second one is dynamic braking. And the third one is counter current braking. But in this, um, in this course, we only, uh, we only teach you about the first and the second types only. The third one is not uh, in opening. It's not included in our syllabus. Yeah, the first and the second one is quite famous. Yeah, very famous, very popular in the world. Yeah, this is a. Uh, uh, you have any question? Hmm? If you have any question, you can ask me now. Ah, huh? have a question. Ah, Mirza, you have a question? Mirza, where are you? Are you still there? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> oh, are you sleeping? Huh? Sleeping, sleeping. Okay. Think, yeah? As a robot. Yeah, as a robot, but. As a motor, you want to apply the re regenerative braking in your car, yeah? In your car. As a robot, which, uh, you see that this is the arrow, the red arrow, yeah? From the emergency, that means maybe our battery or something like that, 
and then it goes to the motor. Yeah, it goes to the motor, and then what happens to your power? Your power will rotate the motor. Yeah, you rotate the motor, then regenerative braking. No, not this one. Yeah, but the S the generator, the power from the wheel, from the wheel, yeah, tire on it, tire on it. You go to the to the uh you give uh, the rotating of the uh, wheel, yeah, the rotating of the wheel will give the energy into the motor, and now motor is is function as a generator, yeah, function as a generator, and it will supply the current yeah we go to the to the uh, supply will uh, the battery or supply yeah here energy sink energy sink is a um maybe battery or something like that lah. generator or something like that yeah? okay many cars in the world Many cars in the world use now. Eh? Nowadays, many cars uh, in the world use regenerative braking. Yeah, many companies uh, like this lah. Uh, Toyota Prius, Honda Insight, Ford Escape Hybrid, Tesla, and Chevy. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we want to understand the concept of the regenerative braking yeah you want to know the concept of the regenerative braking okay this is an example yeah you see at figure 4.1 this is an example of regenerative braking yeah an electric motor is driving a trolley buses this is a trolley buses yeah uh, in the uphill direction and downhill direction. Now, uh, I want to explain to you about the uphill direction. You can see from the uh, my circle. Yeah, my circle uh, is it the in the the trolley buses is in the uphill direction. Yeah. What happened to the trolley buses? There are two components of gravity force. Yeah? The first one is perpendicular to the road surface F. Yeah? Perpendicular, bersudut tempat yeah? dengan uh, your trolley buses. And the second one is parallel to the road surface, which is mean as FL. Yeah? FL pull the motor towards the bottom of the hill. Yeah? F1. Okay, regenerative braking also we move the bus in the uphill direction, but in this case we can ignore the rotational losses. Yeah, uh, when we ignore the rotational losses, yeah, and then we can see that the motor must produce a force fm fm stand for motor force and fl stand for load force yeah there are two dua daya yeah daya f force to mean daya fm motor yeah daya bagi motor and fl is daya bagi beban yeah? okay, ni daya bagi uh, beban ya yeah? yang kita boleh lihat ada anak panang tunjuk ya yeah? the arrow show the fl and also there is fn uh, this is a uh, opposite direction ya yeah? at the opposite direction okey the motor and uh, the motor torque and speed are in the same direction motor torque and speed are in the same Direction. That means uh, motor stock all positive and the motor speed also positive because we are uh, going uphill. Yeah, going uphill. 
and the loot top uh, TL ya eh? TL mean loot top is opposite to the motor top ya yeah? is opposite to the motor top itu TM TM stand for what motor top and the power flow because this is a motor ya eh? the concept of the uphill is a motor that's mean the power flow from the motor to the mechanical load Ya, yeah, motor to the mechanical load. Which mean that the motor, this this concept is not the braking. Ya, yeah, it's not the concept of braking. This is a motor. And then when the the your trolley buses, ya, yeah, going up, 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 and then it's in the level. Ya, yeah, in the in the flat level, ya. Yeah. Flat level. After that, it will go downhill. Yeah, it go downhill. Okay, this is FL. Yeah, load force, and we know we we now are traveling downhill. Yeah, we are now traveling downhill. There is uh the second trolley bus. Yeah? The load the load top. F1 now is push the motor towards the bottom of the hill. Kan push the motor. Dia sebenarnya dia menolak lagi motor betul tu supaya lagi laju ya. Eh? Dia akan pergi lagi laju ya. Yeah? And the direction of the motor top is always opposite to the direction of the load top. Jadi opposite maksudnya arah yang bertentangan. So the motor produce a torque in the reverse direction. Sebenarnya motor ni produce a torque in the reverse direction. Yeah. And the rotation of the motor is still in the same direction of the both side of the hill. Okay. When it's travelling uphill and also when it's travelling downhill, the rotation of the motor is still in the same direction. Yeah. And what happened this one? Okay, now this is when the motor in the downhill direction, the braking system is function. Yeah, the braking system is function, which is known as regenerative braking. Yeah, regenerative braking. And the power flow from from the mechanical load to the electrical source. Yeah. Dia mengembalikan ya, kuasa yang terhasil oleh putaran tadi ni, putaran uh, motor tadi ni, putaran motor kepada bekalan ya, tu kelebihan dia. Okay, now we see, when it's uh, the the power motor, the apa, the trolley buses is going uphill ya, is going uphill, then the Now it's in the quadrant one, ya. Yeah? Quadrant one is in the uh, right, right side, ya, yeah? right side. But when it's going downhill, the rotation is about in the quadrant two. Quadrant two is the re, uh, regenerative braking in the left side. Okay, we go to the example of regenerative braking. Search in the uh, from the internet, yeah. You can search from the internet. There are many, many example of the regenerative working. Uh, like this one is from the YouTube, yeah. I don't want to open this YouTube because we uh, we make our time waste our time, yeah. But you can open it in your at your home. Yeah, you can see there are several example here. Yeah, we can compare also the regenerative braking from the hydraulic brakes. Yeah, you can compare it. It's your Toyota Mechanica, yeah, which is using a uh, regenerative braking. And the third one is example of what is the concept of the regeneration mode ya yeah? what is the concept of driving mode and what is the concept of regeneration mode 
Okay, you can search, uh, you can see any the further, yeah, the detail, the explanation in this, uh, in the, this link, yeah. I will give it to you, uh, this link. Okay, question number two. Okay, state three types of electric braking. Where is your working class? Working class, support that? Okay, class. Papa, are they okay, class? Ah, huh? are they okay, class? What's in it? Hmm? Yo, one. Ah, okay, class. Class, question number two. Can you, can you see from yeah, two, my. Ah? Ah, three type of electric braking, eh? Ah, dapat tak? Nampak tak? Can you see? Nampak, nampak. Okay, state three types of electric electric braking. That uh, I stated earlier. Regenerative. Ah? Dynamic. Regenerative braking. Okay, the second one. Dynamic. Dynamic braking. And the third uh, one. Satu lagi. Center current breaking. Counter current breaking. Counter. Okay. Good. Okay. Question number three. What is the advantages of regenerative breaking? Dia ada advantages tau. Regenerative breaking. Kita, kan kita ada tiga jenis pembreakan yang kita terang kat sini. The first one is uh, regenerative breaking. The second one is dynamic breaking. And the third one is counter current breaking. But the first one, regenerative breaking, that is the advantages of regenerative breaking. Okay, I want to ask Shafiq. Shafiq? Yes, boy. Okay, what is the advantages of the regenerative breaking? Gemelectric. Gemelectric. Uh, save your... Uh, sebab save the energy, yeah? Maksudnya save the energy. Penjanaan semula. Ah, dia memang ada penyanyian semula. Kan? Because the, the rotation, the rotation of your wheel, uh, wheel itu, dia akan menyebabkan motor awak sekarang ni masa membrek tu, dia bertindak sebagai sebuah penjana ataupun generator dan dia supply balik kat bekalan. Kan? Regenerating ni maksud dia penjanaan semula. Ya? Jadi itulah kelebihan. Uh, itulah Advantages dia, ne? Advantages of the regenerative breaking. Now, kan kita nak tengok lagi regenerative breaking juga, tapi keadaan yang uh, lagi detail, ya. Eh? We can, uh, kita cuma spesifikkan dia kepada DC shunt motor. Regenerative breaking of DC shunt motor. Okay. Uh, there are Tengok kat sini motor operation Ya, yeah, motor operation And then the speed top characteristic Under regenerative braking That the, Your trolley buses Also, ya, yeah, I want to, you to imagine About the trolley buses That the trolley buses is going uphill And then uh, It's the top Of the hill Stop the hill. Okay, when it's uh, what to say? Going uphill is uh, point number one. Yeah? Point number one is going uphill. You can see from the uh, screen. Yeah? Point number one is a uh, motoring uh, quadrant one. Yeah? Quadrant one, that's mean still in the motoring uh, quadrant. Motoring quadrant, forward motoring quadrant. But the second one, the second point is, is when the motor, when your trolley buses reach the top of the uh, of the hill. That means no no gravity protection than uh, your uh, gravitational force. Yeah? And also uh, you can up your 
your what? Your speed but in the uh, negative talk. Negative talk now your your motor your motor yeah, is going downhill. Yeah? Downhill is, is at point 0.3. Yeah? What is the operation, operating mode? Yeah? Under operating condition, when the speed of the DC machine exceeds its no load speed. Yeah? Melebihi kepada no load speed. Kan? Uh, no load speed tu maksudnya dua tadi ni lah. Point dua ni ialah point two ni adalah keadaan no load speed. Tapi kita nak DC machine ni will continue. Ya, will continue. Oh, yeah. Lebih. Ha? Tak nampak ha? Apa cakap tak? Maaf lah, maaf lah. Ha? Saya lupa tadi. Ha, saya lupa tutup soal tu. Okey. Bila kita tambahkan lagi kelajuan, tapi dengan daya kilas yang berlawanan, maka dia akan sampai pada titik tiga. Now, it exceeds, melebihi kelajuan tanpa beban. Oh, Allah, kelajuan. Mana dia tadi? Kelajuan tanpa beban. Dia lebih laju lagi daripada kelajuan tanpa beban tu. Uh, which, kan? Di sinilah kita katakan sebagai regenerative braking mode. Ya? Yeah? And the concept of the DC shunt motor operating mode is that Hey, what happened to you? <laughs> okay, the load torque is We have to imagine first that the load torque is bidirectional Not unidirectional Bidirectional maksudnya Boleh dua arah yeah? Boleh ke depan okay. But you know what is torque? If you have the This is, I want to say, is Aci, ya. Eh? Aci. Uh, dia boleh berputar, kan? Okay, dia boleh berputar. If we, uh, we assume it as uh, positive, positive torque, okay. This is daya kilas positif. Maka, by directional, maksudnya, we can also rotate the torque into negative torque, ya. Yeah? This one is positive torque, but the second one is the negative torque. Yeah. Now the operation is the operating point is at point one. Yeah. This is point one. Yeah. Point one, which is in the first quadrant. Yeah. Memang rajah sendiri menggambarkan quadrant one sendiri. Yeah. Uh, But ini nak kita faham ya. And in the first quadrant, di mana that DC shunt motor kita now operation as a motor. Ya. Not a generator yet. Ya? Not a generator yet. When it will become the generator yet. Nanti kita tengok lah bila dia nak sampai kepada mode generator. Okay. Until, okay. Now is the pergerakan berlaku from point 1 to point 2, ya. Yeah? Buses move from point 1 to point 2, ya. Yeah? What is the operating point 2, ya. Yeah? What is the condition of operating point 2? That means load torque equals to 0, ya. Yeah? Load torque equals to 0 at point 2, ya. Yeah? Where in this in this condition the frictional torque is ignored. Why the frictional torque is ignored? Because uh, if we imagine the condition of the trolley buses, they move from the uphill. Now it's in the top of the hill. Top of the hill. That means the frictional torque is ignored. And the frictional torque also ignored and because of the gravitational torque at the top of the hill is perpendicular to the root surface. Ah, uh, Kita juga tahu this gravitational torque kita, torque, torque gravity kita bila kita berada di puncak bukit tersebut is perpendicular. What is mean by perpendicular? Perpendicular is bersudut tepat 90 degrees to the road surface.
surface ya yeah? 90 degrees to the road surface and it operates at the point 2 omega the kelajuan dia equals to vt uh, over k flux ya yeah? vt over k flux and now the the motor is going downhill ya yeah? is going downhill because the bus trolley buses moves from point 2 to point 3 yeah? from point 2 to point 3 now it reach point 3 reach point 3 already uh, this one is in quadrant 2 yeah? quadrant 2 can be uh, can be defined as regenerative braking yeah? point 3 is a regenerative braking okay? uh, one point 1 not Generative, not 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 breaking. Yeah, this is a motor. Point two is no load, no load speed, and point three is the regenerative breaking. Yeah, when it goes downhill. Yeah. Okay, regenerative braking of DC shunt motor. At point one, at point one, omega equals to Vt over K flux minus Ra over K flux squared TL. Yeah? At point one, yeah? at point one, kita boleh katakan omega equals to uh, nilai yang macam ni lah. Ya, formula yang kita kena gunakan if kalaulah dia minta dalam sesuatu pengiraan um, operasi bagi uh, motor kita untuk bergerak jadi dalam keadaan ni kita kena gunakan formula ni lah ya. in the uphill direction ya. kita boleh guna equation number 4.1 until 4.3 ya second one at point 2 yeah operating at point 2 as we know TLs equals to 0 yeah TLs equals to 0 when the TL equals to 0 that's mean that from point 1 tadi ni kan kita nampak omega equals to VT PK plus minus kan because TL is 0 kan TL dah 0 0 darab lah dengan RA ni sejuta pun kita akan dapat zero juga nah sebab TL zero. Masa tu dia betul-betul dekat atas bukit tu. Dekat flat tu, top of the uh, hill. Jadi bila TL ni zero, maka omega kita pada point tu sebenarnya sama dengan Vt minus K flux sahaja. Ya? Bila load top zero, dia katakan di situ amateur current must be also be zero. Ya? Must must also be zero then the equation is from 4.4 to 4.6 yeah kita kena guna formula ni yeah if the question uh, wants you to answer the speed yeah and this is the operating point three yeah now it is not um it's not a motor it's a the motor will become a generator ya yeah? generator and at point 3 amateur current is larger than the field current and current i equals to ia3 okay ia3 minus if that flows into the source jadi sekarang ni arus kita bukan lagi mengalir ke motor tetapi dia dah terbalik arah nah 
dah terbalik arah di mana arus kita sekarang bergerak daripada uh, beban load uh, mechanical load to the uh, to the supply yeah? to our battery or something that like that yang boleh menerima kembali kuasa elektrik tadi ya yeah? And remember, eh, when daripada formula ni juga, you have to remember that uh, bila, ya, eh, bila kita nak kata tu motor tersebut bertindak sebagai sebuah motor, okay, mesin lah, mesin tu act as a motor, and when the motor is a generator, ya, yeah, the mesin act as a motor when EA tu uh, less than VT, ya, yeah. bila V EA tu less than VT. Then the mode, the machine will act as a motor, and we have to know. We know already, yeah. When you are in semester three, yeah. And the machine is a generator. When the E A, okay, E M F tadi ni, ah, more than V T, yeah. Okay, this is the summary of regenerative braking. Okay. At point one, point two, and point three. Yeah, ni adalah summary dia sahaja yang cerita tadi tu ya. Okay, point one, omega kita omega one is less than omega zero. Yeah, omega rating dia tu. Yeah. And then omega two equals to omega zero, and the third one omega three. Now it sit melebihi ya more than omega not tadi ya. Okay, now we want to study about the dynamic braking ya. Habis dah tentang uh, regenerative braking. Yeah, regenerative. We need finish about the regenerative braking. We want to know the concept of the dynamic braking. Yeah, dynamic braking. Okay, this is the dynamic braking. This is the what to say? Uh, the circuit diagram of the dynamic braking. Yeah. We have two point, two terminal. Yeah, the first terminal we we name it as A, and the second terminal we name it as B. Yeah, hmm. what happen when terminal is at uh, when we connect to point A, terminal A, and what happen when we connect it to to Awak pula dah. Okay. Kita tahu ya. When an electric motor spin. Okay. When electric motor spin. Dia berputar ya. Masa dia berputar tu. The kinetic energy is stored in its rotating mass. Jadi tenaga kinetik yang terhasil tu. Ya. Kita simpan tenaga kinetik tu. Sebab kita katakan tenaga. Kita belajar daripada form 5. That the energy are not. Tenaga memang tak boleh dihapuskan tapi dia boleh bertukar, bertukar apa? Bertukar bentuk kan? Kita belajar daripada tingkatan 4 ke 5 dulu pun tak pasti. Ya? Kinetic energy now is stored in a in its rotating mass. Ya? And if motor is disconnected from the power supply, what is mean that the, the for the first one, ya? one yeah motor is connected to point A yeah yang atas pun sama yang bawah pun sama kita kena sambung dekat point A that's mean is the motor the operation is a motor yeah but uh, this one if motor is disconnected from the power source that's mean we connect to the B yeah we connect to the terminal B until the stop The store kinetic energy is totally dissipated. Yeah, 
kita akan disconnect dia sampailah putaran bagi sebab bila kita ubah sahaja daripada bekalan. Okey tadi masa bekalan motor ni sedang berputar kan. Dia putar alam kan. Dia duduk putar-putar-putar tiba-tiba dengan serta-merta kita ubah dia. Ya. Kita ubah dia daripada point 1, point A kepada point B. Jadi tentulah dia terkejut kan. Tapi dia masih juga berputar dia tak akan berhenti serta-merta apabila bekalan ni kita kita putuskan dia daripada bekalan. Sebaliknya kita sambung kat pengintang tapi dia tak akan berhenti serta meta. Sebab apa? Because the motor have the initial. Yeah? Because the motor have its, its initial. Sebab tu kalau awak lawan lari, kan? Awak ahli sukan, awak lawan lari. Adakah bila awak sampai kat penghujung penamat tu, awak kena berhenti kat situ? Tidak kan? Awak mesti kalau awak tengok atlet-atlet kan? Uh, Duk lari tu. Ya, bila sampai dekat hujung, dia tidak akan berhenti serta-merta but uh, we continue to uh, dia punya running tu tapi dia lambat lah, dia lambat, lambat. tambah kalau jarak jauh ya. Dia sebab apa? Sebab kita nak mengekalkan inisial dalam badan kita ya. Badan kita masih lagi uh, orang kata tengah lari kan. Uh, masih lagi dalam keadaan lari jadi kita kena putar alam lagi, putar-putar dekat padang tu supaya Uh, badan kita boleh menerima keadaan pemberhentian kita tadi ya? uh, Jadi kalau awak tengok bukan saja di sini Malah di luar-luar negara Kalau atlet dia memang tidak boleh berhenti Serta-merta Kita juga dengan motor kita Motor memang tak boleh berhenti Semakin besar beban dia Obat dan awak semakin besar Ataupun if the motor is uh, Dia punya load dia Load dia maybe passenger kan Passenger in the ETS Ha, semakin banyak beban dia bawa Passenger semakin ramai Maka semakin lambat lah Dia boleh berhenti Walaupun bekalan telah pun dibuang Walaupun bekalan telah pun dikeluarkan Walaupun bekalan telah pun disconnect From the motor ya. And the faster the dispersion of the kinetic energy The more rapid is the braking Dia kata kalau lagi cepat kuasa lesapan tadi ni Lesapan yang dilakukan oleh tenaga kinetik tadi ni Maka lagi cepat More rapid is the braking Jadi semakin cepat proses pembraking Masih lagi dalam dynamic braking concept ya. Kita tengok sini Kita ada dua arus Arus IA dan arus IB Di manakah uh, When uh, IA function And when IB function Okay, you see from here, the kinetic energy of the motor is transformed into electrical energy and dissipated to resistive element. Yeah, the kinetic energy of the motor is transformed into electrical energy and dissipated in resistive element. Maksudnya, so, masa kita sambung dekat B tadi ni, yeah, um, dia ada resistive element dia, ya. Yeah. And the rate of the energy dissipation can be increased. Uh, kadar lesapan tenaga kita boleh ditambahkan iaitu dengan kita menukar saiz nilai RB. Ya. The design of the braking resistance kita which is named as RB. Ya. Okay, when the machine is connected to terminal A, yeah, what happen? It run as a motor. Erina, 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 ada ada Erina. Nur Amira, Nur Amira, boleh cakap susu kan? Ah, when the machine is connected to terminal A, okay, Nur Amira. Apa ni? It run as a motor. Okay, which current flow? Huh? Which IAB kah? IB kah? IA kah yang berfungsi? IB kah yang function? Yeah? While the motor is rotating, it require kinetic energy stored in it. Mass. Yeah? Now what happened? 
Okay, current IA flows into the machine. Ya. Nampak tak? IA ni dia akan mengalir ke ke mesin kita. Ya. Jadi dia bertindak sebagai sebuah motor lah. Ya. Ini adalah konsep dynamic braking. Belum lagi, belum sampai lagi dynamic braking ni. Uh, maksudnya kita sambung dekat terminal A, dia bukan lagi sebagai sebuah Uh, generator. Tapi dia masih lagi berfungsi sebagai sebuah motor. It run as a motor. But now okay. We know that when the machine is connected to terminal B. Okay. Kita sambung pula wire tadi ni dekat terminal B. Okay. What happen? The energy stored in the rotating mass is dissipated. Okay. Tenaga energy yang terdapat dalam motor yang sedang berputar akan dikembalikan akan dilesakkan dalam resistor breaking resistor RB ya yeah. while the machine is breaking in a dynamic breaking mode it act as a generator ya yeah. apakah arus yang mengalir what is the uh, arus yang mengalir the current that flow in this circuit is IB ya yeah. IB flows out of the machine. Nampak tak? Arah dia berlawanan ya. The arrow of the IB is reversed from IA. Ya. But in this case, okay, dia tidak menjimatkan elektrik. Dynamic braking tu dia punya kekurangan. Ha, disadvantages of the dynamic braking because it cannot uh, save the energy into the uh, energy sink. Ataupun bateri kita. Ya. Sink. Kenapa kita kata sink? Sebab dia sinki. Macam sinki rumah kan. Tempat kita meletak uh, tempat penggunaan barang-barang. Okay. From the concept. We know that the smaller the resistor is. Okay. The smaller the resistor is. The faster the energy is dissipated. Okay. The smaller the resistor is the faster the energy is dissipated. Okay, R kita kalau kecil nilai tenaga yang lesap lebih cepat. Dan the faster the motor breaks. Dan motor kita lagi cepat kontinya. And dynamic braking juga kita kata the speed of the machine does not change its direction of rotation during braking. Jadi speed of the machine does not change its direction. Ha, yang tu kita kena ingat. Dia memang tidak menukar ya. Tidak menukar arah putaran semasa pembrekan. But the machine stop yang reverse ya. Stop reverse ya. Stop reverse but uh, direction tak reverse ya. Direction masih lagi sama dan kita juga nampak di sini IB is opposite to IB. Yeah. IB is opposite. Terbalik. Yeah. Reverse direction. Yeah. Sebab arus ni kita boleh katakan dia berkadar terus. Yeah. Proportional. The top is proportional with the current. Yeah. The top is proportional to the current. Okay, this is a concept of dynamic braking of the station motor. Tak apalah sama je macam komputer tu. Ni sama kerja. Okay, now the concept is the point the uh, the concept is when it's at point A, ya. Yeah? At point A, point A kan. Point A uh, energy kita akan apa jadi? Okay. Ada ni Yasmin When at point A When yeah, at point A The motor operate as a motor or a generator hmm? At point A ha? Generator ha? Generator kot Oh no At point A This is quadrant 1 Ya yeah? Is operate as a motor. Ha nak? Faham, faham. Ha nak? Ha, okay. And then when it's convert into twist B. Ha? Twist B kan? From A to B. Terminal B. 
Now, barulah dia beroperasi sebagai sebuah penjana. Ya, generator. Ya. But the concept of dynamic braking, dia bukan berhenti setakat ni sahaja. Ya. The concept is you go to the uh, origin. Ya, you go to the origin and to point C. Ya. Point C. Uh, this is point C. Ya. Dia kata just after dynamic braking is applied, the motor operating point move to B. Ya. Mula-mula memang dia sampai kat B dulu sebab dia masuk dalam kuadran pembreakan. B tu kuadran pembreakan. Okay. Uh, generator. Pembreakan ataupun generator. But. Kan? Tapi lastly. ya, Lastly dia akan bergerak kepada origin. Origin daripada titik kosong-kosong sebelum dia pergi kepada titik C. Ya? Point C is the last operation of the dynamic braking. Ya? Dynamic braking. Uh, IB. Okay, we know that I braking current. Okay, I braking current equals to what? Negative EA per dengan RA plus RB. Ya. Yeah? EA over RA tambah RB. Okay. When RB is high, what happen to IB? Hmm? RB. Nilai RB ni besar pun kata. When the RB is large. ya. Yeah? When the RB is large, what happen to IB? Uh, Badru Amin? Any Badru Amin here? Badru Amin still here? Nur Irfan Farfami? Hmm? Okay. When RB is high or large, IB will drop. Yeah? IB, the current. Yeah? The braking current will drop. Why? Ada tanda negatif kat sini. ya. Yeah? Why the negative sign uh, the negative sign in equation 4.9? Why? Why we use the negative sign in equation 4.9? This shows that the braking current is in the reverse direction. ya. Yeah? IB equals to negative EA okay, divide by RA plus RB. That means negative, it shows that uh, the braking current is in the uh, reverse direction of the emitter current. Yeah? Kalau sebelum ni arus emitter kita bergerak daripada bekalan ke motor. Tapi sekarang ni IB bergerak daripada motor ke Terperintang lah Nak kata bukan lah Boleh lah Kan Can not happen lah Because we have squeeze The terminal From A to B ya. Okay And we want to compare To compare RB1 RB2 And RB3 RB1 uh, Is less than RB2 And RB2 Is less than RB3 Okay RB1 reproduce the current IB1. Yeah? RB1 will produce the current IB1 ni. And RB2, R eh, resistance, RB2 will produce the current IB2. And RB3 will produce the current IB3. Okay. Kita baca yang ni, equation 4.9, eh 4.10 indicates that more electric power is dissipated. Ya? Dia kata dissipated tu apa dia? Uh, melesak, ya? dilesakkan. Ya? Uh, okay. If the braking resistant RB is small. Ya? If the braking resistant RB is small and the field flux, ya? flux kita become strong. Ya? Uh, apa dah nilai tu? Hmm? Equation. Nah, this point E. Yang tadi diulang tu je. Okay, thank you. Uh, that's all. Um... Uh,
Okay. Mio. Mio, are you here? Huh? Mio? Yes, I am. Um, when the breaking happen, okay, when the breaking happen, is uh, the, what happened to the motor? The motor will become a what? Hmm. Huh? Mio? So. Huh? So. Will become? Huh? Uh, huh? We'll become and we we'll become that we we'll become what? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, you can leave the group, the meeting now. If you want to leave now, I have already downloaded your attendance. Okay. Okay, thank you.